the woman at the well, I love when Jesus, he says to her, you know, if you knew who I was, you would ask me for a drink. Like he asks her for a drink and then says like, but if you knew who I was, you'd be asking me for a drink. And to me, when I read that, it, I just, I see in the spirit, like there is something in each one of us that is so beautiful that is so valuable. There is a an expression of love that we pour out to Jesus that only we can give him and he can only be satisfied by that. Like nobody else can give him the drink of love that we can give him from our cup. So much so that he will go out of his way. He'll go out of his way to encounter us in the dry places, in the lonely places, in the wilderness places. Like it's not just about us receiving from him, but it's that he desires to receive from us. He says that water, that if we drink from his His well, from his spirit, from his kiss, from his cup, then that will become a fountain of living water flooding us with endless life. And the woman says, well, let me have that water so I'll never be thirsty again. The empty place of our soul, like our, our soul, our heart, is the place of our appetites. It's the place of our thirst. Have you ever heard that used in a um, like an acronym or a metaphor for um, a woman who is constantly seeking a relationship or a man who's constantly seeking a, a sexual relationship that it's a thirsty girl or a thirsty guy? Like it's because they're longing for that drink of love that only Jesus can satisfy. And some of us get dehydrated. <laughs> like, do you ever forget to drink water? Like I forget to drink water all the time unless I'm carrying a giant bottle of water with me. If you're catching where I'm going with this. There are days where I'll just get so busy where like maybe I didn't plan well, like my time or whatever it is. And I just forget to, to drink. And I just feel the Lord say like, you're carrying that water with you all the time. My well, my fountain of living water, this liquid love that I desire to pour into your soul continuously, it is, it is a artesian spring that I have tapped on the inside of your heart. And all you have to do is lean into that love lean into me whether you're doing dishes or you're at work or you're changing diapers or you're driving in your car whatever your life looks like even in the midst of the the chaos and the messiness that water is available to you all you have to do is say give me a drink mm -hmm.